Uh, it is a wet morning. It is a good idea to have the umbrella handy because, as you can see by the radar, pretty much everyone is seeing whether it's a drizzle or some more steadier rainfall this morning. Rainfall totals are starting to pick up about a trace to a half inch off towards the west, but it does look like by the time this is all said and done, we could be seeing totals in excess of an inch by to, uh, late tonight. The center of low pressure is down towards Iowa. We have another low pressure way up in Canada and a cold front that's sweeping through the area as well. Now behind a drier weather will work its way in here, but we have to deal with this system right now, at least for the next 12 hours or so. Good news is in terms of any severe weather that's staying down to the south of us, but we still have the chance of maybe having a few thunderstorms later on in the afternoon hours as the sun destabilizes the atmosphere just enough. Here's what Skycast shows at 1130. That first round of some steadier rain starts to break down, but we will have a few pockets of light rain showers. Then a little bit of redevelopment later on in the afternoon that could spark off a few isolated thunderstorms. And then the back side of the system will start to slide down to the southeast as we get towards midnight. You see clear skies off towards the west, still dealing with cloudiness for most of us. But by tomorrow morning, the sun will come out and we will see a very dry day. Mostly sunny skies by the afternoon, so just having to deal with today. Rainfall totals now until later tonight, uh, anywhere from about a quarter of an inch to near an inch of rain. Take a look at Sheboygan, a little bit higher totals up towards Menominee and Menominee County. And does look like at least on Thursday, we will remain dry. However, on Friday and even into Saturday, we have another chance of some showers and storms. It is a cooler morning as well, upper 50s right now, a little bit cooler up to the North Mountain at 54 with calm winds, but they will start to pick up out of the north and northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour later today. We'll warm up to 64 for a high, and then for tonight, we'll cool down to right around 46 with winds continuing 5 to 15 miles per hour out of the northwest. Showers and storms will come to an end. For tomorrow, a little bit of cloud cover right in the morning, but then by the afternoon, that sun will come out. So going from the umbrella today to the sun, Sunglasses tomorrow, high of 70 on Friday with a chance of thunderstorms perhaps, and also on Saturday. Sunday, it does look like most of us will be dry for Father's Day, but we can't rule out an ice that a pop of shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon. 74 on Monday, 75 on Tuesday, right now looking mostly sunny. So a little cool today, up and down. The whole month so far at Brook has been a little bit on the cooler side, but at least we're not too cold like what we saw earlier in the month. So well, some bright yeah, side. We could deal with it, right? Yeah.